What about just um, you lost three of your starters? Ben's at center now. Next to you, Sia's next to you. What, what's that all been like? It's been it's been good. Just you know, building new chemistry with those guys. I think Isaiah has, I mean, yeah, obviously it's early on, but I think he's been phenomenal. Here. He reminds me a lot of my um, my younger self, and he just works hard every day, work ethic, you know, just detailed. I like that a lot. So it's been it's been fun, really. Not even as much of a challenge as it would seem like. It's been fun. Well, I remember when I first met him, I was like, okay, this guy. He, he wants to he wants to be good you know he, he works hard he wants to be on the off days like has quick feet you know came in on tackle you never know what he, had, he might do in the future I was like kind of goofy but like smart I'm like yeah this kind of reminds me of somebody <laughs> Can you where you just, sorry, where have you seen him grow the most? Um, obviously he's gotten bigger in his size because when he got here it was like two sixty or something. But um, just his attention to detail has been great. He's no longer thinking like a freshman, like oh I blocked that guy. He's like okay I'm gonna block him. My hat placement's gonna be here. My hand placement's gonna be here. If this happens, then I'm gonna switch to this linebacker. Like I'm, I'm, when he answers those questions and I see it on the field, it's like. Uh, Oh Can you talk about maybe being the leader this year? I think somebody said you were got the guy leading offensive mm -hmm. line workouts and whatnot. So can you kind of talk about kind of being that leader now? Well, honestly, um, now that I am like seen by the entire team as like the leader, I mean it doesn't really feel much different for me because ever since I I've got here, I've kind of been in my mind at least a leader or the leader. I mean, as a freshman, you come in, you like, okay, I'm going to do what I'm asked to do, but my intensity and attention to detail and work ethic hasn't hasn't changed. So I've, I'm always going to be in the off days. Like I'm always going to do footwork. Like I'm always going to do all this extra stuff. So now it's like the older I got, the more people that wanted to also do those things started doing it as well. And if I see something that's not helping us, obviously I'm going to say something. I'm, I've always been that way. But now there's a title attached to it, so I get more recognition for it. But honestly, I feel like I've been, you know, now, now I'm just learning how to lead the team is rather than just an offensive line. So. How, how important is that? Because you were, the team was pretty penalized last year, mm -hmm. a lot of procedural type of stuff. Now you're all working taking on this leadership role and attention to detail. So what kind of things do you have to do to make sure that changes? Well, if you, like, what's that saying? Heavy is the head towards the crown? Oh, yeah. And um, so <laughs> I hear that because y'all the time. But um, it's like, if you if you want to be that guy, when you see things in practice that aren't going well, or or you see people their technique and their attention starts going down towards the end of practice when they get tired, and you don't say anything. How good of a leader are you really? And if you do say something and you do harp on those things, and hopefully those things will translate to Saturday. You know. Do you feel there's a big uh, difference in energy this time around for spring practice? Coach said did you feel a difference this time around compared to for last sure. year. Maybe not as much complacency. What are your thoughts on that? For sure, I'm not. Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if complacency is the word, but I do see that this team, the chemistry of the team, the love for the team, and each other, and the togetherness is probably at an all-time high. So, um, just when you, everybody, like, there's love and respect for everybody. Like, if I say, "Come on, let's finish," we're gonna go out here and bring the energy. The defense is getting after us. Like, they're gonna listen. If BT says that, they're gonna listen. If Ricky says that, they listen. If Ben says, "Get the huddle straight," they're gonna listen. There's no like. Oh, he said that? Oh, like, oh, you're, who are you talking to? You're not talking to me. You know, everybody's like on one page, and that's what I've noticed is the biggest difference about this team. So. Ever since you've been here, Jane has been your quarterback. How different does it seem without having been here this spring? Um, it's definitely, it's definitely different. I mean, you know, Jaden was a dy dynamic player, and um, it's just, I mean, obviously, I don't really see what's going on. It doesn't change my job per se, but you, you can tell. Differences in certain plays, certain um, things that we do, things we try to do, um, just. But it's been great. I mean, I think I think they guys have been done a really good, really good job. So kind of thinking back about that too. How does it? I mean, obviously, Jaden had a comfort with the offensive line with you guys. You have it with him, but how big is it now for you guys as an offensive line to kind of make that quarterback kind of feel a little more comfortable? Um, the thing. Oh well, Paul, we're still we're still building our chemistry with him because he just got here. But as far as Trenton per se, I feel like we I mean we've always respected and 
loved him and, you know, just allowed him to lead when he got a chance to step in whenever he had that opportunity. So it's not necessarily like a new feeling when it comes to him. And um, really either of those guys. I think both of them are, are great leaders, like command of the offense type guys. Do you have any thoughts on the shower transfer lineman? I mean, oh, I mean, I do. I, I like the way they, I like the way they attack every day in their, um, the work is like I said, and um, I, it's it's kind of too early to really, you know, be like, oh yeah, this guy's a guy, you know. Yeah. But uh, I mean, we haven't even had a padded practice yet. But I, I, I think there's a lot to look forward to with these guys. What sort of things are you guys doing right now to make sure you're getting that chemistry and kind of being that one cohesive unit? Well, Coach Cav, he always tells us, like, um, I guess I can't tell you, I forgot. But, uh, <laughs> okay, there it is. There's, mm, something about repetition being the mother of, he'll be able to tell you better. Than but we get our repetition in with each other. And I mean, I get repetition with Ben, I'm sorry, repetition with Ben, even Ezra, Isaiah, Emmett. Like, we get our repetition in with each other. And he we're just going back to back to back. So, that we get used to each other pretty quickly, actually.